everyone, my name is Reggie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm really excited to be sharing with you my favorite graphic novels of all time video. So a few months ago I posted like my favorite series and my favorite standalones, things like that, and I meant to post my favorite graphic novels of all time, but I just never made that video. So I'm doing that today. These are five of my favorite graphic novels of all time. I'm going to start off with number five, and for me that is March. This is actually a trilogy of graphic novel books and I haven't read two or three but I have read the first one and loved it. It was so good, so powerful and so I don't have the first one to hold up but this is March Volume 2 and like I said this is a trilogy. They are historical nonfiction, basically based on the civil rights movement that happened in the U.S. in the 60s and they are so so good, so beautiful. They're written in part by John Lewis who is a huge person in the civil rights movement, also by Adrian Aiden and Nate Powell. Like I said I still have to read Volume 2 and 3 but the first one was so incredibly good and profound and like just really got into the topic and I loved it so much. Coming in at number four is actually a lot of people's favorites so this might come as a surprise that it's so low on the list but it is definitely one of my favorite graphic novel series of all time and the one I'm most excited about getting like new issues of and that is Saga. This is written by Brian K. Vaughn and illustrated by Fiona Staples. You've probably heard about this one if you've heard anything about graphic novels on the internet because it's pretty big on booktube and the internet in general. Saga is a sci-fi space opera story in which we have a war going on and these two people fall in love that are on opposite sides of the war they're opposite species and they have a child obviously this is frowned upon because war and so they go on the run and it's just their story of raising a family while on the run and in this like hard tumultuous like world they live in and it's so good coming in at number three is actually another brian k vaughn graphic novel this one i think is perfect for beginners so if you've never read a graphic novel and you're really interested in getting into them i definitely think this is the one you should start with it's called pride of baghdad again this is by brian k vaughn and it's illustrated by nico and Ranchon. so this is a fictionalized story based on an actual bombing that happened in Baghdad in 2003 that happened near a zoo and released a lot of animals. So this is that tale from the animal's perspective. It follows a pride of lions who flee the zoo and have to try to survive on their own. The color palette is so pretty and the story is contained in just this one volume. It is a one trade book so there's no series and it is such a wonderful story. I love it so much. The color palette, the art is really good and I, re I really recommend it to new graphic novel readers because it is a contained story so you don't have to commit yourself to reading a long series. Coming in at number two is one I will never stop buying for friends, recommending to people. I recommend this like every week to someone and that is Bandit. This is written by a wife and husband duo so it's written by Paul Tobin illustrated by Colleen Coover and this is a story of a French girl named Bandit who goes around and is like kind of a vigilante. She steals things and helps people in need but the things she's stealing are things that were stolen and she's like returning them to their proper owner and they, she's just so cute. I think the art style is really cute. I think the story is really good. The message is great. Manda is a wonderful female role model and I just love these stories. I think they're very good for young girls but also just anyone who wants a good story. These are like the greatest of comics in my opinion. And we'll finish up number one on this list with my all-time favorite graphic novel series and that is Lock and Key. This is written by Joe Hill illustrated by Gabrielle Rodriguez and this tells the story of the Lock family and at the beginning of the story a tragedy strikes the Lock family and they have to return back to their old family house and the house has a lot of secrets including mysterious keys that open doors and do mysterious things. I would equate this to a very similar idea and premise to The Haunting of Hill House, the Netflix TV show. However, it's not like as spooky. It's still very dark, <laughs> has some grown up themes, lots of kids in the family kind of navigating the world, this unique like house and things like that. Obviously the narrative is very different than Hill House, but if you like Hill House, I think you'll like this. It's not quite as spooky, but this is definitely a spooky read so know that going in. I think the narrative, the arc is so good. Each graphic novel in the series gets better and better. Character progressions are written really well. The art style is really unique. I didn't like the art style at first but I got into it really quick and I don't think the story is the same without the start style. As the story progresses it's got some fun twists and it's dark and I just love it so much. Definitely my favorite graphic novel series like I said. Definitely recommend it. I think everyone should read it if they can handle it because like I said it is a little gory, a little spooky, a little dark 
but so good and so much fun. I'm so sorry if the angle shifted. I actually had to run out to the living room to grab another graphic novel. So while that was my top five, I have one honorable mention that I'm going to bring into this video. It's not my honorable mention. This is actually Manny's favorite graphic novel and his recommendation to you guys. If you don't know, I got into graphic novels by a recommendation from Manny. He recommended one of his favorite graphic novels to me and I started reading it and loved it and continued reading them from there. So I definitely think his recommendation hold a lot of weight and a lot of merit and I definitely wanted to recommend to you all his favorite and it's one that I plan on writing soon as well but it is called Black Hammer and this first issue is the trade of the first few issues and it's called Secret Origins. I'm not sure who's an author and who's an illustrator but it's by Jeff Lemire who I assume is the author and then Dean Orsman and Dave Stewart. I'll read a little bit from the back. It says there is no going home wiped out of their superhero universe by a multiversal crisis. The forgotten heroes of Spiral City now live in a dysfunctional family on a mysterious farm in a small town from which they have no escape. So that definitely sounds like fun. If you've heard of this and or read it, let me know in the comments down below. If you plan on reading it based on Manny's recommendation as well, let me know. But that is it for today's video, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!